Hi guys, it's me Samantha here today with another video. I am really excited because you guys really enjoyed my last video and I figured I'd make another makeup video since I just received another order. I am a huge makeup fan and I order makeup all the time. I'm actually waiting for two packages to arrive today. But um, I figured since these came last night that I would test them out and share this with you guys. So in the beginning of June, um, Makeup Revolution released a new XX Revolution brand within their million of sub brands and I picked up some items from there. I actually am kind of new to Makeup Revolution. I've only purchased some smaller palettes for my daughters actually because they're pretty inexpensive. Um, I have tried their concealer and I don't love it. I don't hate it. I keep it you know one shade I think I kept but it's not my favorite but I figured I'd give it another shot they also had um, been given like a lot of raves for their bronzers and this was like another line of bronzers and I was like I'm on a bronzer kick I might as well try it so let's go over what I purchased so let's go over just like a basic boring thing that I purchased but I bought two of these um, Makeup or Illusion Pro Hygiene Sanitizing Solid Brush clean Cleansers and they come in like these little tubs and with a really basic label <laughs> on there um, but it just looks like a clear soap in there and I just figured this is probably something good to try because I've only ever used um, liquid soap for my brushes so I bought two of those because I figured you can't go wrong and they're not based in the US so that is partly why I think it took so long to get here plus the whole COVID situation so I wasn't like in a rush to get it but it took a long time to get here so I did order these two brush cleansers and then I ordered the I thought this was funny they have a soap styler and I just thought this was kind of hysterical this isn't part of the XX revolution online but as I was like clicking through their site I kind of was like this is hysterical so this is their soap brow and it looks just like the Patrick Ta brow sculptor um, the packaging is similar color and um, similar like in the way that it opens. They didn't have a tinted one that I saw anyway. Um, it's just like a clear white soap brow but I figured I would try it out. It came with this little brush. It looks like a like a Barbie brush but I figured we'll try that today. Why not right? Okay I'm having a little allergies so my nose is a little red from just rubbing it. It's just a little itchy. But I did pick up the foundation. They had two versions of the foundation. They had the luminous foundation and they also had a matte, um, I think they called it like skin faux or something like that foundation. They had a concealer, but the concealer looked like it more belonged to the matte line of it. And they didn't have a concealer that I saw anyway that was hydrating. So I didn't want to pick up the concealer in a matte formula when I know I don't prefer that because my under eyes is pretty much the only part of my face that gets a little dry so let me open this I got it in the shade f12.2 and to be honest I've never tried their foundation so I don't know if this is even gonna match um, I tried my best it has this pink holographic top and a frosted glass with like the XX here and it does have a pump which is nice so the packaging is really cute my favorite color is pink so I kind of like that I did get the luminous setting powder I don't have a luminous setting powder I know there's a lot of brands that have come out with them but I wasn't sure if I was really gonna like any of them so I never tried them but I figured for the price of this it wasn't too bad to try this and I will list everything I purchased in the info box below with how much it cost but this is the packaging of the luminous powder it's like 
kind of looks like suitcase packaging, um, like travel packaging. It has these kind of lines down them. It's pink in a box. It's kind of cute. Um, the inside, it kind of looks like a compact with a, um, almost like a foundation compact with like a cushion in there. And then you flip over this white top. There's a sticker um, covering the, the holes. And then I think they had this in three shades and I got it in the shade Luster. Because I kind of, I'm not that dark, but I'm also not fair, so... Let's get rid of these boxes. And I also picked up the blush in Excess Blush High Pigment Blusher in the shade Cliche. That's the shade. It's kind of, it's an orangey tone. They had a couple really cool orangey tones. Not cool tone, but like cool, like they're they're cool you're cool dude um orange tones but this was the one that i ended up deciding on as that same packaging that looks like a luggage um and this is the color i don't know if you could see it that well because the reflectiveness on the packaging but it's orange figured that would be cute for the summer and then i picked up the bronzer in phantom it's a matte uh, powder bronzer and hopefully this is the right tone. They had so many shades in the bronzers and the blushes. It was ridiculous. I feel like even the foundation for a low-end brand, they are really catering to a broad spectrum of shade tones. So that was exciting. Um, and then this also looks like a luggage, but it's in a like gunmetal like gray color. I'm going to take a sip of my Dunkin' Donuts. Mm. All right. And I, again, I got it in the shade Phantom. And that's what that looks like, which I think will do good. All right. And then the last thing I got was the uh, eyeshadow quad in Extortion. It's the green one. They had a lot of different shades on this. And, um, what else? They had primers, too. They had, like, four sets of primers. They're, like, brightening, mattifying, hydrating. I really wasn't sure about getting a primer because I just felt like, primers are kind of like skincare and I do have acne prone skin I just don't want to put something that's going to sink into my skin and really cause me to break out um so this is a high pigmented matte and glass shimmer foil shadows built to look build your look express yourself that's what it says it comes in the same gray packaging as the bronzer and let's see what it looks like inside and these are the green tones. It looks like they're all kind of shimmery. I'm going to swatch them real quick. Yeah, they're all shimmers. And then has that one like very chunky foil kind of shade. And this is what they look like. which I'm excited about. They all show up on my skin tone. All right, so I'm just gonna use my Ulta Beauty Matte Face Primer because this is a hydrating, um, like, glow foundation. And I do like a glowy look, but I do also get oily skin, so I don't want it to be too greasy looking by the end of the day. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this in my T-zone. And this is kind of like the Smashbox Photo Finish um, primer. I think that's what it's called. It's like the oil-free blue one. I don't know. So now that we have the primer on, I'm going to 
use my Sonia Kashuk um, beauty sponge. I don't use this that much because it's hard to get it really poofy. I don't know if you can see it's kind of like still firm in this one spot. I don't have all day to like soak my sponge but um, that's how the shade looks and I'm gonna pump it. Hopefully it's a good match. I usually try to match more my forehead area because I do have like five different skin tones <laughs> on my face. Actually, let me just clip my hair too. So yeah, the perimeter of my face is a little darker. This is a little darker here, but then this part of my cheek is lighter, but then I have hyperpigmentation. Around my mouth is slightly darker, but it's all different shades of brown. So I try to match my forehead usually. Ooh, very, very pigmented. And I'm not sure it's a great match. It looks a little peach. I forget what the description of this shade is, but I will go on my phone in a minute and look it up. Actually, it matches pretty decently to my forehead. I don't feel like it looks very glowy or luminous and it is called the glow skin foundation lightweight buildable medium coverage I feel like it's a little more full coverage because it like covered up all my hyperpigmentation I'm not gonna complain I'm just saying it's a little bit more than I expected and here we go Yeah, I like the coverage. I don't have to use very much. I use about like three quarters of a pump on each side. So I guess a pump and a half total. And I feel like I got a ton of coverage <laughs> out of this. Like I barely need even concealer. So yeah, that looks pretty good. I feel like it's not very glowy. It might look a little bit more glowy on camera, but like in person... I feel like it's more of a natural like satin finish. Um, it's not like my Flower Beauty Light Illusion foundation that's very glowy. Alright, so I'm going to go into a staple of mine which is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Concealer Corrector. And I'm just going to put a little bit where I have darkness under my eye. And then I'll blend that in with my finger. I know you're supposed to use the ring finger, but I don't know why my finger always... I always end up with the middle finger, so please don't be offended. <laughs> Alright, that's going to be my color corrector. I'm trying to decide if I really want to keep this concealer. It's the um, Born This Way Natural, Naturally Radiant Concealer from Too Faced. And I don't know what shade it is because the sticker is gone. But anyway. Okay, here we go. I could use a little more. It doesn't do, it doesn't really have that much coverage. And I believe this is advertised as like a medium coverage it looks okay it looks okay it's not amazing I 
I don't know how much of uh, me liking this concealer right now is just because the foundation did so much of the um, correcting of my skin tone that I really didn't even need that much um, concealer. All right, so we are going to try this illuminating setting powder. And I'm going to use my uh, Moda powder brush here. I don't even know if this is something you really want. I'm not going to set my whole face because I honestly don't feel like the foundation is like in need of a full face setting. But I'm going to set my under eye and I don't know if that's a good idea with something luminous. But maybe it'll brighten it. We'll try. Oh! It feels like it. it's very sparkly. I'm not sure how that looks on camera. But it kind of looks like I set my under eye with highlighter, honestly. I'm not really... <laughs> I'm going to do the other side just to even it out, but I think I'm going to, I have my Flower Beauty powder here just in case as a backup. So we'll try to like rectify it a little. This is definitely more like a cheek setting thing because it adds like a highlight, like a glowy, glowy finish to the skin type of thing. More like a highlighter and less of a of a setting powder for sure all right let's that looks better to me I have highlighter under my eye so much it does give a nice glow um to the skin but I feel like that is more like a highlighter type of thing I don't I didn't I'm not a fan of that I'm gonna go in with the bronzer next I don't know if that powder was trying to be kind of like an hourglass like ambient lighting type of situation thing either but yeah I didn't quite pull it off it looked a look like just slightly too glittery to be a setting powder an illuminating setting powder it just wasn't like as finely milled so it, it gave effect more of a highlighter and maybe I will use this as a highlight after and we'll try it that way so I'm gonna use the bronzer next powder bronzer again in the shade phantom and I'm gonna use my Farrah uh, 50 F powder brush I love this for bronzer. Very, very powdery. Whoa. Like, I don't know if you can see all the kick up I got in there, but now I'm afraid that it's going to be all over the place and patchy, but here we go. It's very pigmented. <laughs> all right. Let's see. That looks a lot better. So a small amount goes a long way with this bronzer. Small, small amount. It is very pretty. And I just, with this time, I just grabbed like whatever was kicked up in the pan. want to make sure it like looks even yeah you just have to be very <laughs> careful with the bronzer otherwise you look reckless and then I'm just gonna bring the bronzer down to this part of my neck because I never get sun there I don't know what it is it's my chin doing this and like creating a shadow then it doesn't ever get any sun 
Usually I take my bronzer and I kind of do, do my nose. I'm going to try it, but I'm kind of scared because it's so <laughs> pigmented. Okay, that looks okay. It, I love the shade of the bronzer. It's just, you gotta, you have to have a very, very gentle touch with it. <laughs> Otherwise, so I'm a little nervous about the, the blush, to be honest, too, because if it's as pigmented as that bronzer, this is gonna be insanity, really. So we're gonna be very, very careful with this right here. Like, I'm just gonna lightly press it and I feel like that's still a lot I'm gonna be very very careful if you are darker than me you're not gonna have any problem getting any color payoff with these products for sure I feel like that's really pretty and you can just build it up slowly and to get that oh that looks really gorgeous all right we're gonna do the other side we we'll continue to be <laughs> very gentle focusing on the tops of my cheekbone kind of First and then blending out and a little on my nose and whatever's left over on my brush on my forehead and I feel like that looks gorgeous so actually I'm excited to go in I'm really liking how everything looks right now so I'm actually gonna go in with that illuminating setting powder and just do a little like highlight because I think that's probably what this is going to be best for so you're not looking like a tin man putting it everywhere this is definitely like a highlighter product if you want like a subtle highlight type of situation it's very gold you can see when I put it on my nose it's like whoa yeah like if I put this on my whole face I will look absolutely insane but in specific areas it looks very very pretty and so we're gonna do the eyes now with the extortion palette the green so I think what I'm gonna do is put this into the crease this into the outer V this on the lid and then this is gonna be my inner corner highlight and let's get started but we're gonna go into this green right here and they're all shimmers I don't care I don't need a matte always oh, I didn't put any eye primer but to be honest I'm not going anywhere so I'm not gonna worry too much about that right now and I'm being careful because all the other products seem really really pigmented I don't want to just like go ham if I was going to work today and it was just a simple look this would look pretty just by itself all over the lid Okay, I think they look pretty even with that shade right there. I'm going to go into my Morphe 506M um, in the darker turquoise 
shade. I like this brush because I have very small eyelids and this kind of gets that outer V corner for me perfectly. I'm not seeing too much of a color difference when I put it on the eye. I mean enough, but... I guess now it's, it's doing it for me. There we go. Oh yeah, I can see it now when I come here to do. <laughs> This is always my problem. I go in trying to do like kind of something more subtle and I always end up something very intense because I I just keep going, adding, adding and adding. I'm going to go back with that medium green shade and the fluffy brush and kind of just blend those together. I think that looks pretty. Now I'm going to go into the foily shade, which is really, really pretty. High impact. Has a lot of gold glitter in it. And I'm just going to use my finger. It's a very creamy formula. I think that looks really, really pretty. Kind of regretting not putting a primer because it's so creamy. I'm like, cur I'm like kind of um, nervous it's going to crease a lot, but I guess we will see if it'll need that. And I didn't get too much fallout actually with any of the shadows, so that was really, really nice. Now I'm just going to go in with the Sonia Kashuk Detail Blending Brush, this little black one here. And I'm going to go into the lightest shade and use that for the inner corner. And I kind of use this whole space as my inner corner. And then I blend it up. Kind of like a taupey gold, gold, which I really, really like. I'm going to try to put a little bit of the um, turquoise color under my, um, my bottom lash. But I really don't typically do that too much because I have very small eyes. And I feel like sometimes when I do that, it just closes my eyes. And I like to have a very open an open eye look but I'm just gonna do it just to see because sometimes it's good to try different things can you hear can you hear him telling them quiet I'm doing this kind of nervously just so you guys <laughs> are aware because I really tend not to do this. I think it looks pretty good. I did just the right amount, I guess. And this is another Sonia Kashuk brush. This is the Detail Smudge. And I really, really like this brush. If you want a more precise application of a shadow. I do not have a mascara from makeup revolution but I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills I've been trying to just go through all of my um, mascaras because I don't want to be wasteful but I really like this I also didn't get the lippy I was trying to get the Tammy Tammy I think that's what it called Tammy X revolution um, lip kit but it was like all sold out because it was just around that time when that came out oh 
I forgot my brows. Let's do that, actually. So, because the soap brow that I got from Makeup Revolution is clear, I am gonna pencil them in. I pencil them in anyway, but we're gonna really go in. So, I'm using the NYX Precision Brow Pencil in the shade Ash Brown. Okay, that's my brows drawn in. I could just leave them like that, but I really like my brows to like stand up and be very fluffy. So we are gonna do that with the soap brow. So the instructions for the soap brow says to dampen the brush, but I am not gonna use this little Barbie hairbrush. I'm gonna use my spoolie because I prefer to use a spoolie when I do my brows. So I'm gonna wet this. So I wet the spoolie and then I'm gonna dig into this The entire soap came right out of the packaging. <laughs> All right, we're gonna put this back in the packaging and we're gonna try to use it. That was bizarre. <laughs> Making circular motions. That was too funny. Oh my goodness. All right, we're gonna go into the brows now. It's definitely not like the Patrick Ta. It's not as creamy. And I think because you wet the product in Patrick Ta, you're getting a more creamy product. And when you wet the brush, it just feels like a wet brush. So I feel like whatever pencil, like creamy pencil I just used to do it, I'm just moving around that pigment. I'm going to try to see if I can get more of the soap feel and stand up these brows. Looks pretty good. And I like it. All right, so let's do this one. This is my bad brow. It never wants to stand properly, but... We're gonna try it. So today is July sec oh, July third and the new Hamilton not new, but Hamilton's coming out on Disney Plus. My eleven year old is so 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 pumped that is what we're going to be watching in a little bit today how many of you guys are out there gonna be watching it actually i really like like this brow never wants to stand and like i can even see where my brows are a little too long like i could trim those because it's actually standing out properly um I hope these don't turn white at any point today. If that happens, I'm going to put a comment below letting you guys know how the foundation wore full day and also how the brows lasted. But I really like that. And look at it. They're even like slightly too long there. Like I can trim it. I've never really gotten that effect that I can see that. So... They're starting to feel a little stiff, so I think they're setting a little. So I don't wanna fool around with it too much because you might get that like white flakiness or whatever. But yeah, let's put on some lips and mascara. Take these out. Let's do mascara and then save lips for last. So going back, I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills mascara. I have never heard any good things about the Mascara Makeup Revolution, so I wasn't going to try that either. So 
So about the packages that I'm supposed to get today, um, I actually on Juneteenth ordered from Uma Beauty the foundation and concealer. I didn't get the contour and highlight stick that everybody's getting just because I have so many sick stick products I'm trying not to like have too much but I really want to try the formula of their foundation because the branding on it is amazing with the stay woke um situation you know I identify as afro latina so you know I'm honoring my blackness so I feel very connected to the movement but also as far as the product itself it looks like it's very lightweight um, and it talks about helping with hyperpigmentation for people in the medium and tan skin range, which is something I definitely have issues with. So I would love, I really wanted to try it. I had it in my cart, in my Ulta cart for a long time, but, um, I took advantage of the sale and ordered it straight from Uma Beauty, which I think is better anyway, giving them my money directly. And then I also ordered from Sephora the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette. I know it's not a new palette, but I've been wanting it for a really long time. And then my husband just said, bite the bullet and buy the palette. You spend so much money on makeup anyway. Does, what does it matter? So I did. I, I bought that. So I'm excited. Those are supposed to be coming today. I also bought the... <laughs> talk about not wanting to buy any more stick products but I did buy the Kylie bronzer stick in the just, I bought it in two different shades um just because I really want to try that I don't have too many bronzing sticks so a lot of the sticks products I have are blushes and highlights so yeah I did order that I don't know when that's going to come though that was just like a recent a couple days ago purchase the other ones I purchased a little bit ago, so I've been waiting. Because again, it's July 2nd, I purchased the Uma stuff on Juneteenth, which was the 19th. And then I, well, the Sephora order I just purchased this week, but they're pretty quick. And I'm using the Patrick Ta Silky Lean Lip Cream um, in the shade Independent. This is what I used in the last video, and I really, really enjoy it. I do not... I do not like uh, liquid lipsticks. Licks, blah, 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 I can speak today. Liquid lipsticks, but this is really comfortable. It is not a matte finish and it doesn't advertise itself to be either, so. And I'm going to use. It's like the perfect nude. I'm going to use the um, ColourPop lippy pencil in the shade BFF3 and I have to say I really really love the freaking smell of this lip cream it has a peppermint smell and feel to it that's just Yeah, I think that looks really good. I'm pretty happy with the look. I would definitely be using the bronzer again. I love the eyeshadow. I think it came out nice. The blush, the foundation, it's a little bit more full coverage than I wanted. but And it's not as glow as I anticipated. But this would be a good alternative to, say... Well, I got to see how it wears through the day. But like um, the Maybelline Superstay, I like that, but it's just a little too matte for me. This could be like, but I like the way that it's like full coverage. If you're going out on a night out or like a fancy event, you want that, that like very snatched look, full coverage look. That's pretty much the only full coverage for like, full full coverage foundation that I've kept um, because I rarely use that type of product anyway I feel like this would be a go good alternative because it is more of a satin finish than a full matte and it does have the full coverage that the Maybelline Superstay has 
but we'll see how it wears. I will put an update in the comment below. Um, the Soap Brow surprised me. I think I'm going to try to do a video where I compare one brow to the Patrick Ta and then one brow to the... Um, the makeup revolution but it is kind of stupid to me that the, literally the whole soap came right out hopefully it stays in there now um and i do not think i'll ever use this little brush i think they could have saved room and packaging and it without that but maybe they had to do that to differentiate itself from patrick todd because it doesn't come with the brush um the illuminating powder I think this would be nice as a highlighter. I would not dare put this on my entire face um, because that is just crazy. That would just be crazy. Over the top crazy. Um, let me see. Did I go over the blush? The bronzer is amazing. The eyeshadow. I like this. I liked pretty much everything. The only thing that was kind of iffy for me was the setting powder. And like I said, I would use it, but more like a highlighter. I would not use it as an all-over setting powder situation. But if you like this video, please be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and I will continue to make videos like this if you want them. Please let me know below if you are interested in watching me try the Uma Beauty Foundation and Concealer. I don't know if somebody would still want to see that video because there are so many videos already out there but with my skin tone being in the tan or medium to tan depending on the time of the year um if you're interested in seeing my skin tone um because a lot of the videos that i've seen recently reviewed tend to be on the lighter fair um side so because i feel like a lot of brown skin girls tried it a long time ago so it's not new to them anymore, but it is new to me. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and hanging out with me. And I love you guys. See you guys soon. Bye.